Hi, this week we are painting a watermelon, which is a great uh, thing to do if you're using watercolour. Uh, there's natural watermarks in a watermelon, and so normally we're fighting against watercolour so that it doesn't leave these watermarks and these hard edges. And You don't need to do that when you're painting a water watermelon, they're naturally there. So there's a lot of wet on wet technique which you use when you paint a watermelon and which is what I use so I made sure this edge was wet so that the green would just run slightly in which is how a watermelon looks so uh, with this painting a lot of times I'm trying to um, be a bit of a control freak and stop the watercolor from running and doing all the things I don't want it to do with this one you can just let it go. It can be as willful as it likes because at the end of the painting you want those bleed marks, you want the, the water to have run into the spots. So I'm trying at this point just to leave some lighter areas to give the watermelon a bit of shape and it's actually started to run into the, it's gone a little bit crazy here, it's, it's running so I'm just lifting the colour here with a dry brush and then I try it with a wet brush and then when I do it again <laughs> and it bleeds everywhere I just use a paper towel and just lift it off. It's not a big deal when you're working on a wet surface uh, the paint will lift off. I was struggling a little bit because it was really hot here. I live in Sydney we're having a crazy hot summer and everything was drying so that's a little bit hard when you're trying to do wet on wet technique but you can still make it work. So here I'm just adding some of the texture to the watermelon. So less water into the colour is how I get the colour a little bit darker. I don't want to change the colour at any point. I'm just adding a few definitions. Doing the same with the other side. And the biggest challenge with this painting was not eating the watermelon. It was a hot day, there's a beautiful watermelon sitting right in front of me and I just wanted to munch down on it and I did not, I resisted. So I'm using some Payne's Grey for the shadow 